Okay. Um, it looks like, oof. You know, the first three cards out of the gate there, Scorpio, are a little tough regarding love, romance, or feeling loss. So, you know, I, I try to just read the cards as they come. Um, I truly believe that the cards are neutral, that there's not necessarily any good or bad, but it's just, it's just, the message is what it is. So some of you, some of you Scorpios, I'm actually getting the ones that are not attached romantically. There's some sort of block to two of cups energy. Now, so two of cups has to do with like a love affair, you know, exchanging heart energy with another, feeling close to another person. And the fact that it's in reverse says that that energy is present but that it's just being held under the surface or it's in delay or it, you don't have access to it. That's, that's really the message that I'm getting is so whether you're single or in a relationship, there's something that I'm kind of, I don't know why, but I just got that, that song of like, you don't bring me flowers anymore. That kind of came into my head. So there's, it's feeling like cut off or that, that that's there, but you're not gonna you're not getting access to it that you're not being able to connect to it and then this card in reverse shows loss you know if you see five of coins here it shows this spiritual figure who's comforting the person who's here on earth and what i always point out in this card is that it's really about choice of focus you know there's all this warmth and glowing light um, coming from within the church where it's warm, where the doors are always open. But this guy is staying out in the cold and is focused on his hurt, bandaged head, which actually has to do with this too, which is sadness, betrayal, um, you know, disappointment. So some of you, Scorpio, may be feeling a little bit of disappointment or sadness or loss regarding a relationship or just not not feeling like you have access to heart exchange energy. And what I want to um, offer to you is that when we look at what's happening in the physical world, we sometimes forget that there is warmth, love um, in the spiritual world that's always available to us. Even seeing this in the reverse position tells me that you might be feeling really cut off from that right now, Scorpio. You might be feeling a lot of this, which is third wheel energy. So this is like if there might be a third person involved. Or just feeling sadness, you know, maybe this person isn't who you thought they were. Or you feel sad because you can't connect with this with another person. Um, but you know, there's there's other stuff happening here too. So I'm gonna keep moving on. But for some of you Scorpios, I'm just getting like it's a little bit tough. Um, I don't want to candy coat it. So I'm just reading what the cards say. And then Hierophant, this kind of says this card says do something different. When Hierophant is in the upright position, it has to do with traditionalism, conventionality, doing things that conform to normal. Uh, and when I say normal, I mean like ways that the, the majority or the masses do things. Um, conventionality, again, just traditionalism. But when he's in the, in the reverse position, it's kind of like saying you can, you can do something different. Um, and maybe... You know, I'm, I'm seeing it here. It's funny that there's these two spiritual figures that are appearing for you, Scorpio. It's interesting, too, that they're both in the reverse position. We've got the nun and the priest, both in reverse. So what that tells me is that there's some way that you're not connecting with spirit, potentially, that's causing a lot of this heartbreak, disappointment, betrayal. When we focus on, like, just what's here on the physical plane, that's five of that's the five of cups message we can really feel left out in the cold so what i'm going to say is what can you do to turn these cards right side up connect with your spiritual practice now whether that it and this is can be different for everyone for some people it's religion um, for some people, yoga is their spiritual practice. For some people, nature is how they connect to the spiritual world. Whatever it is for you, we're all different. Whatever it is that you recognize as the divine, 
it's showing that you have comfort coming to you from that. Um, but you may have to reorient yourself because they're both in reverse. You may have to reorient yourself, like do a 180 to see that. And to you may be too involved in life here on earth, the physical plane, and that's what's causing you this heartbreak um, or this disappointment. And that's, you know, it's keeping, it's keeping heart energy from getting to you. So I'm going to say connect to your spiritual center or whatever your practice is. It's, it's also echoing here that this is really going to help you because hangman um, in the middle of the month shows enlightenment through doing something different. Both of these, interesting, really interesting, Scorpio. You have hanged man. Um, he's actually in the upright position in this position, which is where he's at. And then you've got Hierophant in reverse. So it's, it's really saying, you know, march to the beat of your own drum. Do something different. Change your perspective. That's really what I'm getting for you because you need to do a 180, both in this card, in this card, in this card. It's saying, look at things from a different point of view. Look at, look at things from a different angle. Do a 180 because this is where he gets enlightenment. This guy's at peace even though he's hanging upside down and doing things in a way he's looked at as like the outlaw as the person who does not conform. You know, it's, it's definitely, this is doubly echoing things that you get to sort of buck the system or do things in your own eccentric way. If you know any Aquarian friends, um, Scorpio, they're going to help you out a lot with this because that's, they know how to do this like in their sleep. And that's what this card can be too. This is, an air sign. So this is um, either Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And if you know any Aquarians, they are going to help you out. Definitely look to them. This is like the rescuer. This is the person who's not afraid of anything. If you look at Knight of Swords, he's like going into the burning buildings. He, he has such a reliance on his strong, logical, analytical mind that he, you know, he's, he's rational. He's not He's not afraid of anything. Um, he can be a little sharp and he can be very blunt. Like he can confront you with the truth sometimes when you may not want to hear it. But he's also, you know, he's, he rushes into things that could be dangerous, but he has a tremendous sense of courage and he's also very incisive. He's able to like get to the bottom of a, of a problem very quickly. He's able to find solutions because he's got this razor sharp mind. So if you know any air signs um, or especially an Aquarius, because they know about this kind of energy, they're going to be your ally, especially Scorpio. If you are too much in earth, like this is, this is night of coins, which has to do with earth again. You know, funny enough, it's in reverse here, echoing this earth card in reverse. Coins represent the physical world, um, life here on earth, uh, money, assets, possession, even materiality versus spirituality. And that may be a theme here. So this is head to head. He might be confronting you. This could be male or female, by the way. He could be confronting you with like, look at, look at this attachment to materiality and look at how it's turning you upside down. But you might feel a little bit guarded about that or, you know, on the defense, it's all this armor. So it's really, it's really sapping, sapping your joy. I mean, this could be worries about money, Scorpio. You know, these are both money cards in reverse. And this is the sun, which is a very positive card. Um, it's positive even in its reverse. But this has to do with feeling joyful, feeling uh, a lot of vitality, like a sunny, carefree, enthusiastic, complete, integrated version of yourself. And with, with a sun in reverse, it's kind of, it's just echoing for me. You need to turn things around. You know, you just need to see things from a different perspective because once you see things from a different perspective, let me just give you an example, Scorpio. Watch what happens if you do see things from a different perspective. This flips around, all of a sudden you're connected with money. This flips around, all of a sudden you can see this, this 
this golden energy, you receive help, this flips around, you become joyful, full, integrated, sunny, this flips around, um, you know, two of cups, relationship and emotional energy happens, this flips around, which means your sadness starts to dissipate, this flips around, which means you have a connection to the spiritual world, so like, you know, try, try to take this lesson, especially from Hangman, who sees things from a different point of view, you know, sees things from 180 from everybody else, uh, because you do have your own unique point of view, Scorpio. You do, your point of view is, is absolutely valid, and it's absolutely, it's actually going to bring you a lot of peace, especially towards the middle of the month. If you can tune into not worrying what other people think, and not caring and not not feeling like you have to conform to everything that's going to really help you that's going to really bring you some enlightenment some peace some um just spiritual comfort because that's kind of what i'm getting that you might be wanting and needing so rely upon any logical analytical friends people who you recognize as like mind people um they are usually very just very fair very, um, you know, it can be someone who's crusading is what I'm getting from Knight of Swords. He's usually on a crusade and he's usually, you know, championing a cause. So if you have a friend like that, you know, maybe, maybe they can help you access this. Just remember the spiritual world is going to help you um, not feel left out in the cold, especially if you're having wor worries about money or anything that's on your heart. Um, and then towards the end of the month, you're being given an opportunity to allow new emotions in. And now you're a water sign, Scorpio. So if you look at this card, this is the moon card. And this has to do, if you look at this lobster, or sometimes I, I'll call it a crab, um, but you're the scorpion card. So I'm just going to call it, you know, I'm going to associate it with Scorpio here, but it's, it's emotions that are coming up from the depths and it's, they're coming out in this gentle light of the moon here. And moon is about finding what is true and what's real versus what's illusion or what's fantasy, what's solid versus what's changeable. The reason that the moon can present itself as illusion is because it's not actually emitting any of its own light. It's reflecting the light of the sun, but it appears to emit its own light. So when when moon comes up, it's, it's a very poetic card, and it can be like tapping into deep emotions because that's what the moon is about. And you Scorpios usually have a lot of emotional depth anyway. So it's a good time to tap into your deep-seated feelings. It's a good time to... Try to find this middle path between what's wild and passionate and maybe irrational versus what's practical and logical and conscious and analytical. Again, this Knight of Swords person can help you with that. And it's good to find that middle path. You know, if, you, if you're too much on the logical side, it can, it can drain this moon, beautiful moon energy, which is emotions. If you're too wild or passionate, or I, I won't say too passionate, but if you're too wild, you know, this can go into lunacy. That's when we see the full moon. We see that that's where that word lunatic comes from. You know, over emotionality can be just as bad as, as not having any. So both of these have their place. Both of these have their balance. But allow these deep feelings to come up, Scorpio. That's, that's an opportunity because what it does is it, it snaps you out of this sleep of like this feeling of like, is that all there is? All three of these, by the way, Scorpio, is a over-focus on sort of thinking that things are always going to be the same. Looking at your physical um, reality and circumstances more than the spiritual. So with this Four of Cups, this is a card of sometimes feeling like checked out or aloof. Because you feel like, oh, this is all I've got. This is all there ever is going to be. 
this is just the routine, the same old, same old. So you start to let weeds grow around you because you don't really believe that more can be coming to you. But this card proves to you that, no, there is more coming to you. There's more love. There's more passion. There's more joy. There's more desire. But you kind of have to, like, look up and out of yourself. You have to do something different. That's really the theme I'm getting for you for this whole month is you really have to just change your perspective. Look up and out for the fresh new thing that's trying to come in, Scorpio. You have to shake things up a little bit. Again, flip things around. I, I love what one of my friends says. He, he says, flip the script. You know, if, look, at what's, look at what beliefs are causing you to feel any of this Three of Swords energy. And just try saying the opposite of what it is, just for fun, just to experiment. This is like, if you, I always say like drive home a different way from work or from where you're at or talk to someone new, talk to a stranger. This is letting new love energy in, new cup. The universe is trying to hand you something new, but you really have to look up and out of yourself instead of focusing on just what is, because that's what's keeping you stuck trapped maybe just like um i just kind of get a little bit of depression or something something going on with these scorpios so I'm, i won't say snap out of it because i don't think that that's useful or helpful i would say lean more into it let this let this find out where this is coming from let these deep emotions come up because guess where it leads you it leads you to, at the end of the month, to this place of success and strength and, and recognition. Six out of wands shows the hero or the rescuer. And this could be you, Scorpio, or this could be like a fire sign who comes to your rescue. This is a symbol of victory and triumph. So I kind of get the sense that at the end of the month, you get victory and triumph over whatever is, is causing you strife or struggle you you get there scorpio so hang in there towards the end of the month uh the end of the month is going to be your time to shine because this card represents victory triumph being recognized having your reputation be elevated can be like a promotion it's like you sitting up on the high horse and everyone saying yeah that's the person he's the man or she's the woman like that's the hero so Hang in there. Maybe do the deep digging that is necessary here. And again, flip the script. Rely on friends who are very logical and analytical. They're going to they're gonna be really helpful. And then at the end of the month, um, this is Page of Wands, which is the young apprentice. This is the enthusiastic, outgoing, um, willing person who who is, you know, not experienced, but who has enthusiasm and energy and, and optimism is what he brings to the game. So with these two looking at each other, you know, I kind of, I could see this as the younger part of you. With, with these three here, I'm kind of seeing that your maturity is going to outshine any, any youthful, like, overly... Uh, overly fiery energies. Page page of rods. I sometimes see this as like a really active teenager because it is a youth and it's a youth of fire. So like, whereas in the past you may have wanted to say something like fiery or in anger, that can be that can be fire energy. This guy, this guy has been through it and has experience and and knowledge. You know, he he comes out triumphant. So I see. I see this maturity at the end of the month. Maybe this is part of why you're going through this, Scorpio, is that you end up as this hero rescuing person who actually leads this person, this younger side of yourself. I see you triumphing over the younger part of yourself, uh, Scorpio. So if you can relate to that, that's what's showing up for you at the end, end of the month. I think that the end of the month is going to be a really nice time for you. But I do see you having to kind of address some things, especially regarding the spiritual world. If you're feeling left out in the cold or any kind of loss or that you're not able to access heart energy, um, you know, rely on a logical friend, especially if they're an Aquarius. And do the deep the deep emotional work here. See that the world does want to 
come at you with more love, with more passion, with m more joy, more peace. You know, this, this, this cup here is a cup of my, my cup runneth over. My heart is full. But you can't see it or access it unless you lift your head up and look out on uh, what else there is. 